wrestling stuff. Like, you know, if you had to give a crash course, 30 minutes is all you get. Mm. Can you teach someone how to win in arm wrestling? Depends on who they are. Well, we got, we got two really <laughs> yeah, good Yeah, I'll do my very best. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Bodybuilder? Bodybuilder. And uh, who else do we have? Oh. oh, I got drafted. <laughs> okay. Is there any sort of attire that you should bring to arm wrestling? Right. Well, I mean, this is strong right away. Okay. You should be you should be clear. <laughs> clear. Okay? Okay. You should be clear from you know right. the elbow to the fingertips. Right. The only exemption by the rules is yeah, you're looking rough. I got rabies. Yeah. Over, yeah. The only exemption is wedding band. Like legally by the rules, is like you can keep a wedding. You band. can keep a wedding band. Wait, they made me take mine off. Did they? Yeah. You could have protested on a table for like a lot of leagues out there. You'll see like some differences, like World Arm Wrestling League table. Yeah. You're gonna have longer pads. Um, you know, you got the offset pads in a lot of leagues nowadays instead of like the straight across. Uh, you know, you go into Freedom or uh, Japanese Arm Sumo, they're gonna have just a flat tabletop. So it's gonna look like this. That's right. Nothing. It's flat? Yeah. Wow. And honestly, like, I feel like most people who arm wrestle are actually arm wrestling on tables and stuff anyways. So just yeah. whenever you arm wrestle, just protect your elbows. Like, get like a hat or like a, a sweater and put it down. Yeah, maybe, maybe I was thinking like a hat like this. Uh, in the bar arm wrestling video, we had a s blanket uh, yeah. filled with cat yeah. hair and yeah. old man feces. So I kind of, we'll kind of start like with what is like the rules, and then we'll we'll expand it so you guys really know okay. what's up. Sports where you have a peg and an elbow pad. You come, your off hand goes uh, hand on the peg. So right now you're set up for right hand. Yep. Okay. So. Put your elbow on the pad, mm -hmm. and you get a neutral grip. So when you talk about a neutral grip, the both the thumb knuckles are showing when you take your grip. Okay, the wrists are straight and the shoulders are square. This is what would be like a legal start. So you'd be like a little bit bent right now for like a like a really legit start in league, mm -hmm. middle of the table, and then they'd start the match in most leagues with a ready go, and then. It's on. The, right. the, the only rules really in most leagues are you can't lift your elbow up or off the side. The hands sometimes slip apart and you go in a strap. We can get into that later. But you gotta pin your opponent to the pad, either their, from anywhere from their wrist to their fingertip. Okay, yeah. and, that's, and that's it. Uh, if you go like arm sumo or tabletop arm wrestling, uh, you're not gonna have a pad, uh, you're not gonna have a peg. A lot of times what you'll do is if your knuckles touch the tabletop, you're gonna win. Or if you hold your opponent off the side of a table for a three count, that's also a win. Okay. okay, so this is arm wrestling, right? The first thing that I would tell people about how to get better at arm wrestling is people are always looking at the pin pad. And, and what's really important is to pull your opponent closer to you. Okay. So instead of going sideways, like it's like almost like a really strong hammer curl mm -hmm. with the most important part of the hammer curl being keeping your wrist up high okay this is like so vital like, okay yeah so, so just, don't think about the pin no well the pin is going to come after you pull them across to your side of the table just hammer upwards into their fingers mm -hmm. right um get your get your hip normally a little bit yeah so then your elbows inside your body Bend your wrist and lean your whole body and pull through their fingers. Okay. Right. And do you suggest when people are starting to pull with someone for the first time, they just say slowly easing the pressure? Yeah. Listen, you can get hurt arm wrestling, like for real. Uh, it's one of the best exercises if you do it slow and controlled and then with people who've done it before. Mm -hmm. If you want to like get stronger at it and you don't want to, like with your buddies and you want to you really develop your arm, just bend in, like bend in your wrists mm -hmm. and slowly, slowly up the tension. So right now, and, and we kind of have a rule uh, in arm wrestling clubs, the senior person or stronger person is going to mostly hold and the junior person is going to mostly work. Oh, okay. Okay, okay so. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. So, yeah, so normally the senior person is going to hold in a position where they feel kind of comfortable and like they don't want to expose themselves to loss or being in a bad position where they're going to get hurt. But at the same time, they're in there, they're kind of good, and they're going to give a little bit so that the junior guy can engage and work at an intensity that they're comfortable with. Okay. Yeah. So were you doing that often during the 
like video? all day. Yeah. yeah. Like, so that's what I'm doing. I'm not. Oh man. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Senior guy holds, junior guy works. Damn. That's how you get a good practice. Because if I just start drilling people, right, it's gonna be bad for them. No one's getting practice. Yeah. And it's gonna okay. be bad for me at the right, same time. Right. Okay. But you guys right now just start to bend your wrists in and get comfortable. That's the first thing we can do. And you can just kind of start to get familiar with the pressures. Okay. Mm -hmm. In arm wrestling, your elbow can move all over the place. So your elbow can move forward and it can move back and just feel all the things that that does in the match, right? The hand grip should always be fluid. The thing, like, I tell people, like, where is your head? Like, where are you thinking? You're thinking about your hand, you're thinking about your wrist, you're thinking about your thumb. These are all, like, the really, really important parts of arm wrestling. Okay. Right? So whenever you're, like, wondering what to do, it starts here. Right? It is a full body thing, but everything moves. Your hips can move. Okay, this is the simplest way to look at it. Shoulders moving forward, it's called inside arm wrestling. Shoulders yep. moving back, it's called, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got, you got things like top rolling, posting, mm -hmm. king's move. Mm -hmm. uh, on the outside, you got hooks and presses on the inside. You'll go out. You'll go out? You're gonna yeah. go out? Yeah. Okay, so your target is his fingertips all the time. Okay, so you're trying to make his wrist bend back. You're trying to pop his wrist. Okay, so you're gonna lots of up pull, lots of up pull, feel your thumbs. What's so important in a top roll is you see this line right here, open up for a second time. Mm -hmm. Like you see this, this line, mm -hmm. you wanna get this line as high up in his hand before anything even happens. And any part of the line, like the bottom, the top, like you, the higher up you get, the more you're gonna be able to bend him, okay? Okay. All right, so you're trying to do that. And then so you're trying to keep, get your wrist in. And, okay. and what's so important for you, if you're gonna be an inside arm wrestler, mm -hmm. is there's a line here. Do you see the line that your shoulder and your hand makes? Yeah, yeah. You should always try and have that cutting into his arm. It's okay. good for outside arm wrestlers as well, but it's not quite as vital. Okay. So you're always thinking about finding this. There, that's it. Good, oh. see, you got good shoulder Ooh. commitment. He's coming forward. Oh, that yeah, nice, so he nice. Jumps in, okay. right? That's perfect, right? That Shoulder was coming forward. That's fine. Yeah. And you had good wrist, got right. your wrist bent. So. Yeah. so what you can do better is right away start to pull up into his fingers. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's it. So you don't always have to pull towards the pad. Pull up this way. Good, good. Both good. got my hand. Good, good, good. There you go, good. There you go, you got him. Both got my hand though. Okay, why don't you switch? Why don't you switch? Okay. Why don't you try Out. to roll through his fingers? You know, Devin doesn't believe in chalk in the arm wrestling. Well, I like to slip a lot. Yeah. I, sometimes I will use chalk, but so much of what I'm trying to do is always re-grip. Yeah. Like when people talk about arm wrestling, they talk about like top rolling and hooking and pressing. But one of the things that's super important is just re-gripping. Okay advancing your grip so anytime you can ever get your hand deeper here like if you can ever get more around the person that see you went lower and that's okay. a, that's a thing too that's not but more around see here like you would love to arm wrestle i'm going to show them the extreme <laughs> like this would be great for him for you for me All right, right it's easy now oh, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. right so this is an extreme <laughs> example right right but this is the way you're going so you're here if you can just get a little bit more right See, you're more around him, okay? okay? So anytime you can get more around is good. Okay. And also, at the same time, anytime you can get more out on his fingers is good. Okay. okay? So these are advancements that you can try and do in the match okay. by re-gripping. Re-gripping, all right. Yeah. Okay. Top roll. Hook. All right. There you go. Good. Find those fingers. Find those fingers. Yeah. Oh. Re-grip. Get over them. Climb oh, up. Is the in inside going to win both times here? Good, just stick it, just stick it, stick it. Good, but you're in there, you're in there, bro. Drag him straight back, drag it straight back towards you. Climb up over top of your thumb, everything's gonna be beautiful for you. Put your fingers over top. Ah, bro! Oh, okay, that's, Damn. that's two victories by the inside, Woo. okay? The simplest thing you can do in arm wrestling, like, we arm wrestlers, when you meet arm wrestlers, they're always trying to teach you to top roll, okay? Yes. Like, but if you want the simplest thing for success, just bend your wrist. Just okay. focus on bending your wrist. It's the simplest and strongest thing you can do. Okay. Right. Well, why don't you guys both try that? Just we'll both of you. Yeah, inside? just both of you bend your wrists. Yeah. 
Bo's oh, mangling me. Bo's well, what Bo's the hell is this? You know, during the arm wrestling trying now. No, what is going on? Is the first time he's trying. During, yeah. During the arm wrestling tournament, you just got smoked and just gave up, and then you were hurt for like two weeks. Well, yeah, because I pulled against you three times each arm. What? I don't remember that. Yeah, that was uh, James was here about two days before. Yeah. And he showed us that rubber band thing. Yeah. To, like, if someone's weaker than you, you can pull against them mm -hmm. and still have like a good challenge and good training. That lit my arm up like it was uh, Christmas time. Okay. Okay. Well, let's try it now. Shit. Jesus. Let me show you just a few things that are kind of okay. interesting to do while you're arm wrestling. Okay. One of the really simple things is to just pull straight up and change this angle. Okay. okay. This is a, a powerful thing. Yeah. <laughs> anytime, anytime you do that. Yeah, that's just helping me out a lot, man. It's always good. And, and when you do that, you can you can cover your thumb. Okay. Okay. One thing you're always kind of looking for when you're arm wrestling is the the relationship between your finger and the uh, and your opponent's knuckle. Okay. Yeah. So see, like, take your grips, guys. Take your grips. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you right now that I like this grip better. I like Tom's grip better because see how close his finger is to your knuckle. Oh, I see. What you're okay. Do now. So, so you're you all get exactly. This is a powerful up, place really? to be. Now, at the same time, you have to consider that they want to see thumb knuckles for a legal start. But once they say go, all that stuff is legal. Okay. okay? But just always think that this strength to drive upwards and to put the finger on the knuckle is a very powerful place mm -hmm. to be. Okay? Now, another really powerful thing you can do is just bend your wrist. Anytime you mm -hmm. bend your wrist, it's always good news. Okay. Okay? Now, think about bending your wrist and think about what that does to your opponent, right? It gets them in it, the yeah, it makes them see their palm. Yeah. And nobody wants that. So when you bend your wrist, you're also trying to prevent your palm from being turned over. And the way you stop that is with your thumb, okay? So as you're bending, your thumb actually turns, so you pronate upwards, okay? So together while you cup, you twist upwards, Oh wow. okay? So up? Oh no! See, that's the other way. That's what oh. we call. This is what we call supination. And this is what we call pronation. Oh, okay. There Here? you go. Yeah. And pronation is going to stop him from bending in. See, so that's so. If you stay strong like this, as he tries to bend his wrist in, mm -hmm. he's, yeah, he loses his wrist. This is how you top roll or do. Okay. Let's try to get that thing down there, exactly. isn't it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's done with like this ridge, and it's like halfway between uh, a pull up and like chopping, uh, chopping wood. You know, and, and there's this supinating ridge here, okay? okay? So anytime you can kind of bring your shoulder forward through that, it's also just a really strong thing to do. You see that? <laughs> yes, right? You feel that groove? It's a groove. Yeah, there's a groove there. Right. Okay. Okay, so these are four of the really basic pressures you can give, this upwards, this cup, yeah. this resistance of the cup through the thumb, and the bringing the shoulder forward and protecting, protecting with your soup and yes, yeah, it's like pressing. Mm. Okay. okay. What if you're at a bar, just trying to arm wrestle some dude that wants to arm it? What's your tactic to win that? Well, there's, there's, uh, the, probably the greatest thing that you can do is get a better setup than your opponent. Okay. Right. So like, so much of the arm wrestling is. This, uh, it's, it's determined by the grip you can negotiate before. Like, remember when we were in here with, with Paul earlier? Like, mm -hmm. right? And we go. He's right, always right? gripping, yeah. It's super important. So, so much of it is in this angle. This is the opening angle for everything, this height, you know, okay. that over the top. You have to make people reach for you. Okay, like, yeah. it's like a relationship. Like, the person who gets the other person to come to them has the power typically okay? okay so by having a high hand a high up hand and the other person reaches for them in that process you will be able to use your arm and your hand in combination whereas they're stuck initially using their hand only okay so you need to keep your hand high you need to beckon them to come in like this if i was at the bar I'd be like, okay take a grip take a grip and you see as soon as he starts to reach for me yep. he's in trouble yeah. because as he's soon as he hand. starts to reach for me i start to deny his grip oh. right so what he wants to do is he wants to get all the way around me get this great grip okay but what i'm going to do is as soon as he starts to reach for me i don't let him i i hide from him you see yeah I, right and he can't get the grip that he wants and then I put the pressure in his fingers. Okay? Yeah. 
So now I have my arm into right. his fingers. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. And then I get to use my hand in, in, in combination with the strength of my arm. So, yeah, tricks, okay. tricks. Okay, yeah. if you're going to your first arm wrestling tournament, what's the biggest first steps to actually win there? In your first arm wrestling tournament, I would say that uh, it's, it's tough to hear how, it's, it's not slow. Okay. Real arm wrestling is very fast. So they're going to set you up and you might feel nothing. And they're going to say, go or ready, go. And it's going to go from zero to 100, like in an instant. And if you go the wrong direction, it's going to be terrible. Yeah. And the best and safest direction is just to hit back up high, right towards you as hard as you can. Yeah. And if you feel your wrist going, um, you have to learn how to slip. Okay. This is maybe not your first tournament, but we're yeah. going to fast track a bit. Okay. Okay. So if, if you can get the person to hold on to you, then you carry on with using your hand and rolling yeah. and top rolling. Everything's great. If, if you feel like your fingers are being blown open. Yeah. Okay. You have to continue to pull and go into a top roll and, and okay. perhaps so here, slip out. His fingers are blown. It's like great. That? Okay. Yeah. We can go into the strap. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There we go. Now we. This is real arm wrestling. Mm -hmm. This is real arm wrestling. There we go. And right. the thing is, is you don't <laughs> want too much because you're never gonna get it. Sure. Yeah. Like what you want is you want what's fair and then a hair, right? Just a little bit more. There you go. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. So things you're looking for is you want the match to be inside your body. Okay. Right. Think about that elbow, uh, sorry, uh, that shoulder hand relationship. Mm -hmm. Is it cutting, that's good, now you're good there. Now, also think, can you feel his fingertips, right? Can you, is the pressure in his fingertips? Can you bend your wrist in? You Tom, I like this locked position you're in right now. This shoulder and everything in line. Yeah. That's good, he's like, holding nice but, and tight in there. But this match would never start in right. the tournament. Because I'm too close, you're we're too not middle. Right? right, you're not middle. Okay, well yeah. strap You want to strap? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There we go. Wrap one. Wrap two. It's like a the real friendship bracelet, you know. <laughs> you know, it's friendship bracelets. About it. You know. So when you're in straps, you can be sweaty as shit. Yeah. You're not coming apart. They say that the strap tells no lies. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Most a lot of people think that arm wrestling should actually start in straps. Really? Some people think that. What camps are that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. Now, so now you're just way more connected. So you're gonna have access to things that you didn't have before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically any pressure you wanna throw at the guy, no matter what, he's gonna feel it. Oh wow. Yeah. So what really changes now is the strength of the row. The strength of the row now just got like completely multiplied. Yeah. And the strength of the hammer curl got diminished because, huh. yeah, because the relationship that the strap is going to give those two things. Wait, okay. so the strap gives you more, allows you to use your lats more? Yeah. Oh, no wonder more. it works so well for me. Yeah. All right. Well, should we do a match here and you tell us what one? we did wrong? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So square up your shoulders. Yeah. Knuckles are good. Wrist is good. Center of the table is this way. There we go. Right there. Ready. Go! Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn, damn. Oh! <laughs> you wanted it bad. I'll tell you, you wanted it. <laughs> On the shoulder! Yeah, that's it. Um, best two out of three? Okay. You yeah. want to stay strapped? Uh, what do you think, Bo? By the way, okay. Bo, I feel Strap like you are such a good guy. Like, you are a good guy. <laughs> you know, he's a, really he a good killer. Guy. He's a killer. Slurs in. Okay, middle's good, knuckle's good, wrist good, ready, go! Ooh, he's chopping at him. Be careful now. Look at your hand. Always look at it. Look at that hand. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh, there we go. Look at that hand. Look at it. Fighting hard. Anytime a new guy is shaking, I'm always like looking at him like, good fight. Good fight. Good fight. That's it. That's it. 
Ooh, nice. <laughs> That's it. Stick in. Oh, there. oh man, what a good match. I lost it. You gave me too much. You yeah. fight hard. I gave you fight hard. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I'm uh, watching you. I'm like, I'm I, like I need to look at my. I wasn't looking at my hand. You started on the initial. Me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I forgot. Yeah. They say so. Like when it comes to like getting hurt arm wrestling, um, like you can always get hurt doing anything. But there's like a couple positions that we really watch for. Yeah. So um, the one, it's it's the spiral break yeah. of the humerus, and it's a reality in the sport. It it doesn't it doesn't happen in high level competition, but it can happen when uh, beginners are starting, and it. It's when you're mostly pushing, mostly, or throwing any kind of internal um, uh, spiraling pressure through the arm. And it gets harder to do as the elbow is further away from the body and more open, okay? And that's why we say, look at your hand, because the thought is, like, the further I start to look away, when I start to look away, this opens up more. So if you always kind of look at it and try and get the elbow inside the body, but there's no guarantees. You can get hurt doing anything. Uh, the other position that we always watch for is hyperextension. So a lot of times when people are arm wrestling, they start to pull and they start to get really open. And if the arm actually straightens, um, you know, you can, you can get basically arm barred. Okay, yeah. so these are things we kind of watch for. Anytime somebody's shaking, like they're going like full, yeah. uh, that's when you really have to, have to watch it. And at the okay. beginning, just... Yeah. Just Look have, at your hand. Yeah, have fun. And have fun. Yeah. And, and if it ever starts to feel unstable, just... Yeah. I didn't feel unstable there, but I... No, there's good. a lot of pieces to put together. Yeah. Yeah. In the whole thing. Yeah. Really simple way to, to think about it. Get your wrist bent, pull the match towards you. Okay. You know? All right. You guys want to try again? You're a little bit bent. You're a little bit bent here. There we go. Ready. Go! Oh, that's nice. Ooh, what was that? Did you get in that? <laughs> no, it's just, Did you go I the feel, wrong I way? Feel it all the way down. Oh wow! <laughs> you got in there. Okay. Yeah. See, so that's that's that shoulder coming forward. You knocked him but, right off. But but that was a good thing I did. I stopped, right? Yeah, it was nice of you because I felt like his pressure was gone. Yeah. yeah was okay. Like, that was great. I'm was trying great. to feel that out because you, Juji was getting used to that in our thing today. Excuse me. Our thing in the video with uh, all the arm wrestles is he was trying to keep going when he could just stop, right? Mm, yeah. And mm -hmm. you, you have to figure that out, on, I mean, just from experience, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hurt the guy. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want to hurt yourself, too, if you're just stuck in it, right? No. Okay. Well, let's see that again. Do it again. Right. This way, this way, this way. Ready. Go! Oh, oh stop. Yeah. What, what happened there? What happened there? Does anybody know what happened? Uh, did I go too fast? Your elbow was like this. Was it way off the it ground? Was <laughs> that was good, I mean like, but but yeah, that would be okay. considered a foul. That was a foul. Yeah, that would be considered right, a foul. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> so so what, what are the fouls actually? I don't know any of them. Right, so, the, so you could get a foul for starting early, like mm -hmm. starting before I said go. Um, you could get a foul for lifting your elbow off the pad, like either by lifting it or having it fall off the okay, sides. Yeah. That's the main thing. Some leagues will have, um, uh, fouls if you cross the table with your shoulder. Some okay. don't. Um, you'll get fouls for dangerous position depending on what level you're pulling in. But really, it's it's really elbow fouls that you're, we're concerned with. You can pretty much do everything with your body. If you let go of the peg and you gain an advantage, but these rules are, you don't really have to worry about them. Okay. Keep your elbow down okay. and don't start early. Okay, so I have a foul. This way? Perfect. Ready? Go! Oh, that was That's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, right. You okay. So oh, that's yeah. okay. okay. This right arm of yours, dude. I, I mean, I'm trying to go fast. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to be a race car. And that's the power of shoulder commitment. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Like that's an inside. We would call that a press. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to use my taters. Yeah. This, yeah. this is my advantage right here. Boom. Okay. So I've arm wrestled a bunch. Yeah. I'm starting to feel the pain. Yeah. You're I'll, starting to feel it now. Oh, well, I'm just. This is hypothetical for the video. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> But are, are, you, are you feeling anything? Oh, yeah, there's definitely some tendonitis. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love it. I'm not alone. Uh, but tendonitis is a buzzword here. We're sorry, trigger warning. I'm starting to feel the pain. Yeah. How do I recover and how do I deal with it as a beginner trying to win? Uh, so there, there's a lot of things you can do. Like people talk about ice and stretching yeah. and hot baths and fish oil and uh, rest. But in my opinion, the very best thing you can do is uh, 
just continue to train in a really light manner, stimulate okay. the area with blood flow, uh, keep it moving, don't hurt yourself more ever, yeah. but find the area that's sore and kind of like work with it and pump it, like mm -hmm. push the fluids through and you're gonna strengthen it the way that it needs to get strengthened. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And it's, it's probably in one of those four ways. It's probably in coming up and you're so often with new people, it's supination. This is the thing that always bugs them. Get a towel and imagine that you uh, put like a bunch of weights on mm -hmm. on it. And or a backpack. Like, yeah, whatever. And do like a motion like this. So do like wrist curls off the off this ridge of your hand. Okay. Like you do this. these even when you don't have flare ups, right? Oh yeah. This is a big important strength in arm wrestling. Like if you can do this, like if you can do this, what that means is at the table you're doing that wow. exactly what you just did okay okay wow. stronger and built up in this manner what that means is just you right away can blow somebody off their shoulder a lot of people will get their tendonitis like in here yeah 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 so it'll hurt like you'll know if you press here yeah you'll you'll feel it there yeah, yeah. right so you just start with like really lightweight just like reps to 50 okay few sets you can do it every day a few times a day even and it'll come back like really quickly you more hold me accountable Tom to actually doing exercises instead of just three two one goes well I mean just like so I stop whining about my tendonitis yeah yeah you usually do. don't do anything about it yeah well, other than rub it a lot which yeah, is not it, good yeah. don't rub the arms yeah but if you guys want to find more from Devin mm. he has a lot of training material and musings and all that stuff on his channel yeah, his I, YouTube. I'm all about arm wrestling. I love it. It's you're in a basement. You're in a home gym, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's cool. It's got a lot of funky stuff in it. Lots of videos to watch if they mm -hmm. want to watch more arm wrestling. Mm -hmm. What do you uh, What do you got for the future in arm wrestling? Oh, there's so much coming up. It's so many things. I would say that the big things for the following year coming up that I'm excited about is just like really the international expansion of arm wrestling. It's like everywhere you look now, there's, there's great arm wrestling. Like, I mean, you name it, you name the country and there's great tournaments going on. On a global level, there's just activity everywhere. I'm excited about the World Arm Wrestling League. Uh, that's really always kind of my main focus. Uh, man, I've got some redemption that I gotta get, you know. I, uh, I gotta beat Michael Todd this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really, really very high up on my priorities. To When's beat that, that coming? I don't know. Okay. I haven't been told exactly when it's coming, but I'm sure it's happening this it has year. To, yeah. It's People yeah. Are pretty it's angry, and and they're pretty excited as well. <laughs> it's a big match. Michael, yeah. Michael's an awesome arm wrestler, and uh, but I gotta crush him. I have. Yeah. I gotta crush him. Oh, you're going to. I know. We'll be there. Yeah. I don't know, we'll come. Let's, Let's go. go. It's a big match. Uh, Where's the plane tickets? The, uh, Got them. So one last thing. You're doing that by training 40, four, four times a day. Yeah, what is this craziness? Oh, man. I, I, I'm like a chronic. Like, I just refuse to believe that if I'm sitting down, um, I just refuse to believe that hard work doesn't pay off. I just can't accept it, you know? I, I, I know that maybe I should rest more, but I feel like, I can rest before a tournament. Yeah, so I train about four times every day, normally morning, before lunch, before supper, before bed. And I'm hitting the same stuff like all the time. Same like, workouts all the time. I'm doing so your four like, workouts are the same workouts. It's not the same, but it's really similar. Like yeah. these chains that I talk about, this cupping, this rolling, this rising, this supinating, that's like, that's like 90 plus percent of what I do. Like, I'm like always thinking and just pushing that, those chains a lot. When it comes to being strong at arm wrestling, so what you train in the gym, it's like, give me those four things. Give me more of this. Give me more of this. Give me more of this and well, this. So much of it that you want to do it four times a day. I, I'm, four I'm things, a, four I'm times a, a day, man. 45 I'm a, minutes I'm a every day. You want to know how to beat Devin Larratt? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. And it's Larratt, guys. We've been Larratt. saying Larratt or Larratt, but it's fucking Larratt. Parrot, it's, carrot, yeah. ferret. That's what you uh, told us. And if you want to hear him talk more about pretty much everything, we got a podcast coming Ooh, out. Ooh, that's going to be fun. And uh, we're going to talk, uh, talk about everything, training, life, 
family getting shot. I don't know. <laughs> uh, fights. Who knows? Man, I can't wait till this season, though. I seriously, when you mention Michael Todd, it's like <laughs> I need, I need it back. He has my. He's. I. I gave him. So there's there's a hammer out there right now that's floating around. It's got names on it. So. Uh, it gets passed from person to person. It's like the Stanley Cup. My name's on it. Now his is on it. I want to be the first guy with his name on it twice. Hey.